Good evening, dear colleagues. I have been asked to share the clinical experience of target therapy in the Russian Federation. I will talk about epidemiology, the re about the results. Several slides will be about uh, the experience of our region. We, I will show some cases and my presentation will be finished with the interactive voting. Please participate. In, in case of mortality in lung cancer in men and women, uh, there are uh, the decrease in this value, but there are figures uh, that are not positive because in the Russian Federation we have late diagnosis and high mortality rate in case of brain cancer, 50 percent mortality rate after diagnosis during the first year. We need to have a very serious approaches to the clinical strategy in case of metastatic diseases of pulmonary cancer. And it's impossible to do without detailing and target subgroups. I face the program of a very fragmented approach as to the use of the information. The information is uh, very fragmented in different sources in domestic and foreign as to uh, epidemiology and results of treatment of the lung cancer. In the beginning of my presentation, I will make a conclusion. From my point of view, it's necessary to improve the system of report and registration in case of uh, the lung cancer at the state level. One of the first works uh, that uh, cleared up our understanding is uh, the multicenter cohortic picrin lung trial picrin lung, where clinical characteristics of uh, the patients of lung cancer in the Russian Federation, e.g., FIRR 10 mutation 10.1 in adenocarcinomas 19.2%, and also there were described the specificity is correlated with the gender histological ties, smoking status, and low risk of disease progression. Later, there is the publication of different works, different papers uh, in the domestic and foreign papers, uh, the frequency of incidence rates of different mutations. It, uh, it speaks about the fact that uh, these uh, studies um, were made in different in single laboratories and establishments in our country. The success in the Russian Federation is uh, the program to improve molecular genetic diagnosis. The main goal of this program is to increase effectiveness of anti-cancer treatment in uh, an SCLC 36,826 samples were sent to the biobank that now is being filled in every month, every day, every week. Uh, as a part of this project, it may have a very good foundation for the further fundamental studies. It allows to study certain frame time uh, as to dynamics and frequency of activating mutations. One more paper that shows the incidence rates of adenocarcinoma in the Russian Federation, the uh, uh, great number of patients. It was demonstration that incidence rates of GFR in adenocarcinomas 20%, 4% in squamous cell cancer, and 6.7% percent uh, in case of large cell cancer. Also, the, work, uh, the paper demonstrated that EGFR mutation is increasing by age, and it's due to the fact uh, by the uh, replacement, uh, point replacements in the 21 exon in non-smokers. Uh, the pride 
for our domestic oncology is the results of prospect, retrospective cohort study trial, including 149 patients, and the publication in the J. Joe Journal in 2019. Uh, the goal of this work to evaluate uh, crizotinib in ALK positive uh, patients in metastatic and SLC cancer in clinical practice as a primary and endpoint where overall survived in crizotinib and that group of chemotherapy as at the secondary and endpoints, uh, the frequency of positive responses in crizotinib group. Uh, the overall survival median in patients with crizotinib, 31 month median of overall survival in the group of patients who receive chemotherapy uh, was only 15 per month. And also, please notice that this trial showed that overall survival median in the groups didn't depend on the line of therapy, the first and the second line with the crizotinib. The statistic significance there is no statistically significant results. Uh, the work shows clearly and detailedly, and the emphasis were made by um, um, uh, leading experts uh, that frequency of objective responses, the percentage was high in stabilization of disease, 47% of patients, and partial responses in small percentage, 3%, and uh, full responses. So all in all, summarizing, I may say that that overall survival median in the group of patients who received crezitinib in the first and the second line was more than 30 months. The duration of life expectancy with alk positive lung cancer with chemotherapy uh, twofold shorter comparing with crezitinib group in the first and second line. And it's important to point out the fact that the effectiveness of crezitinib in the real clinical practice it correlates with the international data. The slide shows our experience Please notice that among 487 samples uh, that were tested for genetic molecular testing in different establishments of our country, uh, we can see the high percentage of LK translocation, 11.5 percent insertion in 20 exon. Uh, we saw in one patient, a female, 30 years of age. This situation, uh, this uh, woman has a very unfavorable prognosis. Two patients of older age, uh, male, Ross 1, and uh, 18.9 percent uh, in the EGFR genes mutation. Quite extensive group uh, in in green, 69 percent. And I pointed out these are the patients who didn't have uh, the previously referred mutations, but this fact doesn't exclude uh, unknown mutations in this group. It's interesting to follow the group up. Also, I try to include in this slide and compare the clinical characteristics of patients with translocation in ALK uh, with the data that we received. Uh, uh, in prospective studies published in 2019. Please notice in tool uh, the average uh, age of patient 58.4 years, uh, although in Russian Federation group with elk transplantation 53 years. In our population, males pre prevailed, 60% males and 40% of um, women. And uh, the opposite uh, situation in the Russian Federation populations, high incidence rates of patients, patients who smoked or still smoking, 28%. Uh, against 18 percent in the Russian Federation. Please consider cases, clinical cases, different clinical cases. They may um, be not typical. 
maybe not customary. Uh, the first case, I'd like to demonstrate uh, the patients of old age with ALK translocation in case of metatastic form and CSLC uh, with a high index of comorbidity, cardiovascular pathology, uh, chrysotinib can have a very good effect. 79 years of age, a woman, ECOG 2, uh, with the pulmonary symptoms, with the severe, uh, with the deteriorated cardiovascular uh, anamnesis. She was given two uh, chemotherapy cells, gemcitabin. Uh, when we evaluated the effectiveness of treatment, we saw the progression with the liver metastasis, uh, the deterioration of pleuritis. In the second line, uh, we administer chrysotinib. She received this since December 2018 up to the uh, current time. She has positive results. 35% it's a regression of the lesions and the, the reduction in the mediastinal lymph nodes. And now the clinical case of that proves the general concept uh, that uh, the, uh, we may achieve positive dynamics uh, using targeted therapy. Younger patient, she was 56, a COC-1, adenocarcinoma of the left lung. Uh, uh, the, uh, it was, uh, she had a typical uh, resection of the lingular segment performed. She had four courses of chemotherapy with carboplatin stabilization during two years in July 2015, multiple metastatic uh, bone uh, metastasis with uh, not severe symptoms, the pain symptom of the first degree. We excluded metastasis of other localizations, namely GIT, breast. Uh, we detected elk translocation and patient was given Crizitinib. Now the patient successfully received this uh, medication stabilization 47 months. She is very active, she is very motivating, motivated, and now we see clinical improvement and positive CT dynamics. One more very interesting case that demonstrates that the patient who had activated mutation and who received target therapy, they can uh, to survive up to the malignant tumors of other localizations. A female patient, 68 years of age, in November 2017, uh, she diagnosed adenocarcinoma of the left lung, uh, the metastasis of of uh, lymph nodes, axillary lymph nodes, bones, pleura, manifestation of the disease with the pleuritis, uh, the cells of adenocarcinoma in the pleural uh, discharge was uh, detected. Uh, we uh, tested, detected in the 20, exon 20, uh, gefitinib was administered in the standardized dose. During the fourth week, she has extensive positive effect, uh, but but uh, that was the skin toxicity of the fourth degree and unwillingness of patients to reduce the dose. Uh, we, re uh, we changed uh, the regimen by gefetinib. Uh, on CT, we saw positive dynamic stabilization in two months. Patient during one year received target therapy, gefetinib. But in January 2019, during this control CT, uh, the lesion in the pancreas was detected. Probably uh, the we could evaluate uh, this uh, lesion as a progression of the main disease. So we continued surveilling of this lesion. We did a positive emission uh, demography. Uh, we detected uh, retroperitoneal lymph nodes. Uh, uh, we did biopsy. We verified ductal carcinoma G1. Uh, it was uh, the second diagnosis, uh, T2 and XM1. It's another cancer. Now the patient is still on gefitinib. She received genpocidine with combination of oxalitaxin. 
And during three months, uh, we evaluated the effectiveness of treatment. We have stabilization on two specialization of the main lesions. One more non-typical case. On the one hand, doesn't include the mutation in a female patient. But on the other hand, when we try to did molecular testing on cytological sample, uh, the DNA samples were not sufficient at the patient of old age, 73 years of age, she is not smoker with a COC-2 status, she has squamous cell right lung carcinoma T2 and 2M1 uh, with the involvement of bone T of bone pleura and uh, mediastinal lymph nodes with comorbidities. In her history, she had uh, adenocarcinoma of ovaries and patient uh, received treatment in 2001. We decided to prescribe plexitacil carbotaxin without uh, negative clinical symptoms. We saw progression according to CT images, metastasis of the liver. Uh, we uh, give a monotherapy of gemcitabine without clinical effect and improvement, and as a uh, therapy of despair, uh, we uh, prescribed the cetinib, erlotinib. We saw regress of target lesions 20%, stabilization of the disease, and during the following up, the patient has satisfactory tolerance and ECOG-1, the duration of response to erlotinib, 25 months. Dear colleagues, when we analyze all these puzzles, clinical puzzles, so we want to put them together in the beautiful picture. But unfortunately, uh, we, are, we are still not successful in the systemic reports of our country. We have to improve the reporting system. We have to improve the data about uh, the data re related to the malignant lesions in our country. Uh, we have to organize testing in uh, medical establishments. Uh, we, it's necessary to consolidate our efforts, uh, scientific communities with the practical doctors, and uh, uh, the important point of the national system of data exchange and uh, biosamples uh, 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 examination is very important. And undoubtedly, we have to improve the system of detection of molecular genetic disorders. Uh, let's start voting. Very frequently, because we are lagging behind the time. Dear colleagues, if in routine practice with EGFR mutated and CLC as a first line, uh, what do you, do you bear in mind? Uh, the availability of the drug, the, the type of mutation, uh, the metastasis localization, the effectiveness, expected effectiveness, or nothing matter. Uh, I expected uh, this result. Uh, uh, I wanted to uh, to see uh, localization of metastasis of maybe uh, um, expected effectiveness. I think 50 to 50, uh, 50. The type of mutation, it's Alexei. <laughs> Alexei voted. The type of mutation, one. The second question. If it's uh, availability of all the registered ALK inhibitors and the similar access uh, in the first line of uh, NSCLC, what you prefer to prescribe? Maybe only one person votes, is voting in the room. How would 
you comment, Sergei and Alexei? Of course, uh, Litinib uh, gives uh, the Alectinib the best uh, the best results. Three years disease-free survival. I would like to point out pharmacoeconomics. Seritinib, the most effective, the most cost, the most cost effective. Uh, Crinitinib, uh, the second line of therapy. If we calculate the data, calculate the figures, of course, in fact, I think there is no alternative now. And the final question. Criteria is the most important in case of the advanced and a CLC. Overall survival, disease-free survival, uh, the uh, full response rate. Every vote is very important. Please start voting. I am an independent judge. I'm a bit confused. A very low figures, uh, progression free survival. In the situation that we are now, progression free survival is uh, the most important value uh, indicator. Uh, I would agree if we have only one medication, but if we can uh, prescribe a combined therapy, three lines of therapy. I think overall survival prevails. The most important thing, if we have uh, how to uh, prescribe uh, uh, the medications, if we have in our hands uh, uh, two or three medications, what to prescribe first, what to prescribe next, how to make the sequence of them.